A torque wrench is probably one of the most valuable tools that you own. So when you get one, don't buy cheap. Buy a quality torque wrench, one with a calibration of 1 to 4%. A click style, 1 to 24 newton meters, will serve most of your needs. It may cost a little more, but it's critical, especially for carbon fiber. Make sure you use the proper preparation on the bolts being tightened. See our reference in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Often the parts on the bike will be marked with the torque required. If it shows only the maximum, I use about 20% less. If there is a range, I use the mid range. This particular stem is marked 12 Newton meters, so I'll use a torque of approximately 10 Newton meters on my torque wrench. If the components you're assembling are marked with different torques, use the lower of the ranges. This is a point for using the same manufacturer for both components. You're less likely to run into that problem. We've treated our carbon fiber seat post with some fibro grip to keep it from slipping. We've tightened this just enough so we can get the right height and line up the saddle with the top tube. Our seat binder has a number of seven newton meters on it, which we assume is a maximum. So we use about 80% of that, which will just be a little under six. We'll go ahead and tighten this just a little bit more to keep everything from moving. We've set our torque wrench to just under six. Hold it at a 90 degree, 90 degree angle. Hold it by the handle. If you hold it up here, it's gonna click, but it won't click at the right torque. And then we'll go ahead and torque until we hear a click. At that point, stop. If you continue to torque the bolt, it'll over tighten, may damage the bolt, and may well damage the carbon fiber seat post. When you have a component attached by more than one bolt, you're going to want to alternate. In this case, we'll do an X pattern in tightening with our torque wrench. When you hear the torque wrench click, this bolt is sufficiently tight. Whenever you store your torque wrench, be sure to unload the torque such that constant compression of the springs will not damage the torque wrench. Go ahead and lower the torque. I usually use about two or so Newton meters. If you lower the torque below that mark or below the zero mark, things will move around inside the torque wrench and a small change in the world of torque can have a great effect. Occasionally you'll see a mechanic use a long arm torque wrench that is measured in foot pounds. This is to achieve a very high torque. Not many places on the bike where you use one uh, for certain bottom brackets. You may use it that in order to achieve an extremely high torque. Our last tip is really a repeat to emphasize the manufacturer's torque specifications even if it requires some research to look it up on the internet. Over tightening a bolt can lead to damage of the bolt, damage of the part, and even damage of the frame, especially carbon fiber. If you have any other tips, please comment. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.